You know that when your web pages or blog posts rank high on Google search, that means thousands, potentially even millions of visits to your website and all those visits mean money. So if you'd love to learn how to not only rank on Google with your blog posts, but how to also tap into the power of artificial intelligence to make this process a hundred times easier, then you can't miss this video. I'll be showing you how you can combine two of my absolute favorite AI tools, Jasper AI and Surfer SEO to create high quality optimized blog posts that rank on Google and drive traffic and potential customers to your website every single day. I'll be showing you how to use Jasper step-by-step -step to generate 1,000, 2,000, even 10,000 word blog posts in a fraction of the time. And when you combine this with Surfer SEO, you're giving yourself the best chance ever for your blog posts to actually start ranking on Google. I've been using these tools for about a year now and after a lot of trial and error, I found a process that honestly really works well for creating content using Jasper AI and optimizing it with Surfer SEO. So before we get into how we use Jasper AI and Surfer SEO together, let's first take a quick look at each software individually. So Jasper AI is an AI copywriter that allows you to write copy and create content for lots of different use cases. It works with over 80 templates that help you to write copy, Facebook ads, blog posts, Google ads, YouTube, and so much more. Once you choose a template, all you have to do is follow the steps that it gives you or enter your prompts and click generate and AI will give you content based on what you filled out. As I said, there are over 80 templates you can use, but for the purpose of this video, we'll be focusing on the long form assistant because we're going to be creating a blog post. If you'd like to try Jasper and follow along with this tutorial and basically have your blog post written by the end of this video, I'll leave you a link for a free trial in the description below. Now let's have a look at Surfer SEO which is a software tool that helps you optimize your content for Google. Surfer SEO gives you recommendations and guidelines based on the top search engine results for a specific keyword to help you structure your content in a way that will have the best chance of competing with those ranking results. So if you wanted to see what it takes to rank on Google for a specific keyword, you would enter that keyword into Surfer and click Create Content Editor. From there, you'd get a list of recommendations that you can follow that will help you to optimize your content for the best chance of ranking. So when you first log into Jasper, this is what the main dashboard looks like. And of course, you can use one of the many, many templates that Jasper provides you specifically for writing certain types of content or copy like Amazon product descriptions, um, creative stories, Facebook ads, Google ads, the list goes on and on. But in this case, we're going to head over to the left hand bar over here down to the documents and we're going to click this plus icon. We're going to use a workflow because I love the way workflows break down processes step by step. In this case, we're going to select the blog post workflow. As soon as you click start workflow, Jasper will take you to a window that looks like this, which is divided into three. On the left hand side, there is a bar that lists out all the workflows available to you and you can even learn more about how workflows work. In this case, as I said, we're on the blog post workflow and then you can also toggle back and forth between the workflows and the templates that are available to you. So let's start out with step one of our blog post workflow which in the workflow is the blog post intro paragraph. However in this case Jasper prompts you to enter your blog post title but let's say you don't have a blog post title yet. You have an idea of what the blog post um, is about and maybe you have a keyword that you researched using a tool such as SEMrush or Ahrefs, but you're not really sure what the blog post title is as yet. Jasper doesn't actually provide you templates for coming up with blog post titles, but I'm going to show you a little trick. So we're going to head over into the right hand side of the screen, which is the document editor. Basically, it works like any document editor, Google Docs or Microsoft Word. And we're going to write, help me come up with a title for my blog post about about intermittent fasting. And if you click Command J uh, on a Mac, I'm using a Mac. 
this will basically prompt Jasper to read your instruction and then come up with results. In this case, it's given us five ideas for how we can title our blog post. And if you notice that it has stopped generating in the middle of a sentence, all you'd need to do is click Command J again, and Jasper will continue the sentence and generate more output. So I'm gonna have a read through the list of blog post title ideas that Jasper has provided, and I'm gonna choose one. Okay, so I quite like idea number eight, take control of your health with intermittent fasting. I'm going to copy and paste it over into step one of the workflow, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just delete uh, these ideas that Jasper gave me. Now, in step one, as you can see, this is where you'd enter your blog post title. This is where you would specify the intended audience for the blog post. In this case, I'm going to say busy professionals and a tone of voice if you so wish. You know, you can um, prompt it to write in a witty voice, friendly, professional, whatever kind of fits your own brand voice. In this case, I'm going to leave it as none and I'm gonna click generate. And this is where it gives me an option to either generate this part of the workflow or run the entire workflow. And within a few seconds, Jasper has generated a blog post intro paragraph. I've had a quick read through this and it's pretty good quality. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next over here. And that's going to copy paste that along with the title over into our document editor. Again, at this stage, make sure you're reading through everything that Jasper is generating for you to make sure that number one, it makes sense. Number two, it's accurate and factual because AI does tend to get creative sometimes and not everything it spits out is accurate and factual. You need to make sure that it is. And you also need to make sure to run all the results through a plagiarism checker to make sure that um, Jasper hasn't just basically stolen this content from some other source on the internet. But of course you can do that at the very end of uh, finishing your blog post content. Now onto step two of the uh, blog post, which is the blog post outline. Once again, it's asking us for the title or topic, which it has filled in already with our title the tone of voice I'm gonna leave again as none and I'm going to prompt it to generate. In this case, Jasper has given me six points that cover the most important things that a busy professional might need to know to master intermittent fasting in their lives. I think they're all quite strong points. So I'm going to click next. Um, and if you're not happy, happy with the points provided, you can obviously click regenerate and Jasper will do uh, it all over again for you. So let's click next. And now this is the really smart part of workflows. As you can see, it has now gone into step 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, etc. So it's taking each one of the six points that it provided us in the blog post outline, and it's going to help us generate a paragraph for each one. So what is intermittent fasting and how can it help you reach your health goals? That was point number one. It's prompting us to include any keywords we might want to include. In this case, I, I might want to mention the words lose weight. Again, I'm gonna leave the tone of voice as none and generate to see what, what Jasper comes up with. So Jasper has generated the paragraph for me for this first point of six. Now I'm gonna go through and generate paragraphs for each of the six points. That's all done. We've generated paragraphs for each of the six main points that make up the outline of the blog post. And as you can see at each step, I clicked next. And in some cases you might want to regenerate, as I said. Um, and what I also like is that Jasper also takes care of your on-page SEO. So uh, each of our headlines have been formatted the way they should be like an H1 for the title. Um, all of these subsequent headlines are formatted as H2 and it goes all the way to H4 as well. Now step four, final step of finishing off this blog post is to write a conclusion paragraph and Jasper has gone ahead and copied over the six points that make up our blog post outline into the window over here. And it's also asking us what call to action we'd like to include, um, whether that's joining your email list, signing up for uh, an intermittent fasting guide, or maybe booking a coaching call with you. I'm going to say, join my email list for free weekly tips to help you on your intermittent fasting journey. And as you can see, we've got our conclusion all done. I've had a quick read through of it. I'm happy with it. I'm going to click finish. And it's also included our um, call to action at the very end to join our email list for free weekly tips. 
And that's literally it. Now, this has taken me just a few minutes to generate this blog post with 1,091 words. Of course, you can take this blog post, as I said, run it through a plagiarism checker, um, and that's pretty much you done. But we're going to take another step now, and this is where the magic really happens, which is running this content through Surfer SEO to make sure that it's optimized. Now, of course, you can use Surfer SEO on its own website, but what I absolutely love is that Surfer SEO integrates with Jasper. And if you look at these four options up here, focus mode is where you can only see the document editor. We have chat mode, which is Jasper's integration um, to chat a bit like chat GPT. And we have SEO mode. And when we click SEO mode, Jasper will open up a double window where we can also see our Surfer SEO account. Now you would obviously need a Surfer SEO account to have access to this. I will leave you a link below in the description to try Surfer SEO out. So again, if you want to follow along with this video, set up your account, link the two accounts, and then um, come back to this point where we are going to create our content editor on Surfer. So the first step is to enter your desired keyword. In this case, we said, the keyword is intermittent fasting. Of course, this is quite a broad keyword with high difficulty and a huge search volume. You probably would go for something a little uh, a little longer tail that has a bit lower difficulty to rank for it or a lower search volume, but we're just doing this for the sake of an example. Once your keyword is in there, we're going to create the content editor. And this is where Surfer is going to pull up the top SERPs, search engine result pages. So the top pages that are showing up on Google when people search intermittent fasting. And these are going to provide a guide for you to optimize your post so that it has the best chance of competing against those blog posts that are ranking well on Google. Once your content editor has been generated, it will look something like this. And if you head over up into this little gear icon over here, called Customize, you can also go through and have a look at the search results that Surfer is basing its guide off of, um, and you can toggle them on and off. For example, if there is any product pages or governmental entity pages that you're not really interested in competing against or that you don't think represent a good format of content for you to follow, then you would just need to toggle them off. So we can have a list through a look through the list here. These it will show the top 10 search results, which is pretty much all you need. And once we're happy with the search results that are forming our content editor, let's have a look at the main window for Surfer. Now, as you can see, it's giving us a content score of red, orange, and green. I love this gamified aspect of it. It makes it so much fun. I always try to aim to bring my content over into the green section, which is 70 plus. Don't try to obsess to make to reach 100. It's not really necessary. Anything over 70 is a very well optimized blog post. Next is that it's showing us the word range for the top SERP results. It's between 2000 and 2393. So we have some work to do there because our blog post is quite short, it's quite a bit shorter than that. It's telling us that these blog posts have between 16 to 36 headings. Um, and our blog post has six number of paragraphs, the number of images, which I would obviously now add in um, at a later stage. It's also giving us a list of the ideal keywords that we should be including in our blog post and giving us a range of how many times those words should be included. So the ones that are green are within an optimal range. The red, we need to try and fit into the text and the orange we've mentioned a few times, but we're not quite in the optimal range yet. Now, if we head into the outline section over here, this is basically taking the SERP results and showing us what popular headings feature in these SERP results and what questions are being answered by these blog posts. So you might have a look through these and think, oh, that's a good idea that I actually want to add into the blog post that Jasper didn't recommend for me. So I'm gonna work my way through the guidelines and you'll notice my score, which is 49 at the moment, start to slowly increase every time we make a small change to the um, blog post content on the right. So with a few very, very quick tweaks, I have already increased my score from a 49 up to a 56. And all I'm doing is prompting Jasper to generate more content, including more headlines. Obviously, I'd be adding images 
in here um, if I had more time and reading through the text to see where I could fit in these keyword suggestions, like where they would fit into the text and make sense so that we're not just keyword stuffing for the sake of it. And that's it, your blog post is done and it's optimized and you're ready to hit publish and basically watch your blog post work its way up the rankings. Now we're back on Surfer for one final thing that I want to show you. This is a feature I really, really like. So um, if you head over into the left-hand uh, bar on Surfer, over into the audit feature, Surfer not only lets you optimize new blog posts, it also has an audit feature for existing blog posts. Now, the number of audits you have access to depend on your uh, Surfer account, uh, but in this case, I've just copied a URL from the internet and I'm going to copy paste it in here. And it's also asking us if there are any keywords that we are attempting to rank for. So in this case, it was a blog on intermittent fasting and we're gonna create audit. Once the audit has completed generating, it takes a few minutes sometimes, we can see all the information that Surfer provides us about that blog post. So any common backlinks that you are missing that you might want to reach out and acquire from other domains, obviously backlinks are a huge part of ranking on Google, any uh, internal links that you should be adding, any terms that you could be adding in, so keywords, that you could add into your content, um, information about your word count, any exact and partial keywords, um, information about your page structure, your title and meta description length, and even your load time. So it gives you so much information and there is you know, always tweaks and upgrades you can do to your blog posts that will help them rank higher and higher. As you can see, two incredible tools that will help you to hugely scale up your blog post content production without, you know, taking a huge amount of your time, energy, and le leave you feeling burnt out and overwhelmed. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will give Surfer SEO and Jasper a try. Get your first blog post published today and if you do, let me know that you enjoyed this video by hitting the subscribe button and the like button and I will see you in the next one.